Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Gyan Sampada. Today we are going to continue with the concept of commutation relations where we will be studying about ladder operators. We have already studied what are operators and different types of operators are also derived. And the operator is defined as a mathematical rule which is going to operate on a wave function which will give us another new wave function. But what actually is a ladder operator is the question. As such if you look at the word ladder then we can just say that it is used for ascending or descending. But how it is related to quantum mechanics let us study today. So in linear algebra racing operator or lowering operator these are collectively called as ladder operators. But if you come across the quantum regime that is according to quantum mechanics Raising operator is called as a creation operator and lowering operator is called as an annihilation operator. So these two operators are collectively called as ladder operators. But the main thing we need to understand is what is the use of these operators. So as the word suggests ladder here the ladder operator is the operator that is going to increase or decrease the eigenvalue of another operator. So typically the term ladder operator is used to describe an operator that acts to the increment or decrement of a quantum number which is going to describe a state of a system. And according to the quantum field theory, the creation operator increments the number of particles in a given state while the corresponding annihilation operator decrements the number of particles in any given state. So in such cases this operator can be called as particle number operator. So to change the state of a particle with the creation or annihilation operator of quantum field theory requires the use of both annihilation operator to remove a particle from the initial state and a creation operator to add a particle to the final state. So this is how these operators are going to work. So coming to the application, the applications of ladder operators in quantum mechanics are in the formalisms of quantum harmonic oscillator and angular momentum. And our today's class is entirely based on the commutation relations of ladder operators corresponding to angular momentum. So first let us know what are the ladder operators with respect to the angular momentum. We have already studied the Cartesian components of angular momentum, general commutation relations etc. And we know that Lx, Ly are the x and y components of angular momentum. And these ladder operators are explained using Lx and Ly where the raising operator L plus plus means increment is equals to Lx plus Ily whereas the lowering operator L minus is equals to Lx minus Ily. Both the terms are same. L plus will have a plus in between. L minus will have a minus in between. So this is a quantum mechanical treatment of angular momentum with respect to the ladder operators. So this is the quantum mechanical treatment of angular momentum with respect to the ladder operators. So now let us understand using these definitions of ladder operators what are the commutation relations between square of the angular momentum and these operators. We have already studied about square of the angular momentum and their components. You can just go through our previous classes and understand in detail. So here the commutation relation between L square and the raising operator will be equal to inner product of L square with Lx plus Ily. Then using the formulae which we have already seen so separating the brackets we will get L square Lx there in a product plus as it is I is a constant will be taken outside into the commutation of L square with Ly. And in our last class of quantum mechanics we have seen that square of the angular momentum commutes with the components of angular momentum which means commutation of L square with Lx, Ly as well as Lz is equals to 0. So both the terms are going to be equal to 0 and finally we can say L square and L plus they are going to commute. In the same manner if we consider another ladder operator which is the lowering operator 
if you solve in the same manner finally you are going to get the same answer which is equals to 0 because only minus sign is going to change here so conclusion is that the square of the angular momentum commutes with l plus and l minus that is l square and the raising operator or the lowering operator can be measured simultaneously which is the meaning of these commutation relations so moving to the next type of commutation relation where we are going to discuss about the relation between the components of angular momentum and the ladder operators that is lx ly lz and l plus l minus so first let us consider lx with l plus that is x component of angular momentum with the raising operator so when you substitute and simplify we know that lx is going to commute with lx so that will be equal to 0 plus i into lx with ly it is going to give us ih cross into lz because of cyclic nature and if we solve this i into i i square will be equal to minus 1 into h cross into lz clearly it can be seen that lx with the raising operator does not commute with each other so simultaneous measurement is not possible similarly if we just calculate for the lowering operator we will get h cross into lz because here we are having plus sign in l minus there will be minus sign so i into i i square which is equals to minus 1 minus into minus will be equal to plus that's why lx with l minus will be equal to h cross lz then let us understand with respect to the y component of angular momentum and if we solve this finally we are going to get minus i h cross lz because here the second term is going to vanish and ly and lx they are in anti-clockwise direction which means minus sign has to be associated with i h cross into lz so the tricks which enables us to remember these commutation relations is already discussed in the last class so just follow that in order to understand these commutation relations very easily so the link will be given in the i button above do watch it and in the similar manner if you consider for the lowering operator then we will be having the same term that is minus i h cross into l z because l minus only this term is going to be minus and second term will be vanishing so whatever is remaining is with respect to the first term that will be same so here we have considered the two components of angular momentum that is lx and ly and in the next let us consider lz with the raising operator so the inner product of lz with l plus if you clearly observe it we can understand that no terms are going to vanish and after z x is coming so positive i h cross into l y plus i as it is l z into l y reverse order minus i h cross l x if you simplify we can observe that h cross is common which when taken outside we get lx plus i l y within the bracket which is nothing but the raising operator itself so inner product of z component of angular momentum with the raising operator gives us h cross into l plus similarly if you consider for the lowering operator then we have minus h cross into l minus because here we will be getting a negative sign which when you solve it easily you can observe so till now we have understood what are the commutation relations for different components of angular momentum with the ladder operator now let us understand whether these two operators that is raising operator and lowering operator whether they are going to commute with each other or no that is inner product of l plus with l minus so substituting the values of the ladder operators and by applying the formula that is we need to just multiply all the terms take the inner product of those things and finally we will be left with 2 h cross lz so when you know the simple commutation relations with respect to the angular momentum components then these solutions are going to be straightforward so again we here we can say that both the operators are not going to commute with each other because rhs is not equal to zero then in order to remember some points if you just multiply the raising operator with the lowering operators and express it in terms of l square and lz we observe that l plus into l minus is equals to l square minus lz square plus h cross lz and 
L minus into L plus that is reverse of these operators will give us L square as it is minus Lz square as it is minus H cross into Lz. So we can observe that these are related to L square and Lz because generally we take the precision along Z axis itself and if you just look at this the inner product of L plus with L minus is nothing but L plus L minus minus of L minus L plus. So if you just subtract these two things L square L square and Lz square Lz square are going to cancel out and we are remaining with H cross Lz minus minus H cross Lz that is nothing but 2 H cross Lz. So both the way you can just understand what is the commutation between the two ladder operators. So finally we can conclude that the components of angular momentum do not commute with the raising or lowering operator which means that these parameters or these operators cannot be measured simultaneously that is at a given time these operators cannot be measured. So this is for today's class. See you in the next class till then. Study well. Thank you for watching.